Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about RS485, Modbus and how to make use of it on the Arduino. So to start with, what is RS485? Recommended standard 485, it's, um, it's a hardware communication protocol basically. It's a specification of uh, wiring, pinout and devices which transmit and receive on that wire. So that's what RS-485 is, in a nutshell. And Modbus, what's Modbus? Well, Modbus is a software protocol um, which is used in um, in electronic communications. And Modbus is used for PLCs and, uh, and lots and lots of different devices. And uh, specifically what Modbus is, it's, um, it's a set of software rules which govern how to interpret data basically and how to transmit data. So, where's Modbus used? Well, I've just highlighted um, that it's used for PLCs, but Modbus is also used on normal, well, in fact, any device. Um, and this is one such device. This is my solar charge controller. I can use the Modbus protocol um, in order to get data from this unit. So, uh, to start with, what's what? Well, RS485 uses um, the Ethernet cable, or as you might know it. So, if I was to get an Ethernet cable and plug it in, I could transmit and receive data from the other end, of course. But, um, with the Arduino, it doesn't natively support RS485. So, what you have to do is you have to get a little converter device like this. And this is an RS485 to TTL converter board and um, I'm going to wire that up to the Arduino and I'll show you the wiring in a bit but anyway um, so we've got the wiring sorted out now Modbus you can get a library um, an Arduino library which people have very kindly spent a lot of time on and if you were to download this library you can basically make use of Modbus um, and therefore make use of whatever data is available um, through the device which you've connected. So, I think um, what I'll do next is to show you the wiring. I've got the Nano and I've got the RS485 to TTL converter there. Now the wiring is as follows. So you get your Ethernet cable if you like uh, or the RS485 cable and plug it into whatever the device is and this is going to be the slave device and then the other end uh, if you follow it right down that goes into the uh, converter now in RS485 I believe there are four wires uh, which are used for communication uh, I'm not going to go into the rest but of those four wires in my particular device um, two of them are identical so I've got two that are identical and another two that are identical and therefore I don't actually need to use the four pins, I can use two pins so there are eight pins in the connector but I'm only going to use two pins so according to your documentation for your device you will be able to find out which those two which two of those pins are the ones that you need to use and um, usually they'll be labelled in the documentation as um, uh, A and B. You can see in the middle there is B and A. So in the specification document of the device you should be able to see that in there somewhere as well. There are ways of finding out um, by doing tests but anyway I won't go into that. So we found the A and B pin of the 8 pins and then I've cut the rest back. Okay the pin out so I can just get this to focus properly. You can see DI, DE, RE and RO. So DI is driver in, DE is driver enable, driver means transmitter by the way, RE is receiver enable and RO is receiver out. And these go to DI is going to TXD on the Arduino, DE is going to D3 on the Arduino, RE is going to D2 on the Arduino, and RO is going to TXD on the Arduino. Okay, so next you can see over this side 
there are the two pins A and B, but also at the end you can see ground and VCC. And VCC, of course, goes to 5 volts and ground goes to ground. And uh, that's pretty much it for the wire up of this little device. So what I'm going to do next is take you to the software and uh, show you what I've done there.